Hey guys, so I'm gonna go get my chicken if I can. Uh, she's down in the run, so we'll see if she comes up so I can grab her. Um, and then when I come back, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna trim off um, the nasties. I've got these little pruning scissors. They're um, actually quite sharp. Um, so they're not just for plants, and I'll be using that for her feathers. And I have a little cloth that I'll be putting kind of on my lap, but I will be changing after this anyway. So I'll bring it back as soon as I catch a chicken. So none of my chickens are really used to being handled, handled, because they kind of enjoy their little privacy. But this is Chipmunk. She's actually a very sweet chicken, but I wouldn't put it past her to be upset with me for taking her out and stuff. She got kind of a dirty bottom, don't you, baby? I know. It's not very fun. So this is her bottom. And as you can see, it's gotten pretty ucky. And so we're going to just gently keep her wings down and hold her there. Because we don't want her flapping on me while I'm doing this. Right? Do we? can still breathe just fine. I don't need to trim any of this. I'm probably going to get pooped on, but we're basically just going to find where this is, and we're going to just trim it off, being careful not to nick any of her skin. So I'll do the best I can to show you what I'm doing. This is a chicken's vent. Sometimes it can just get caked up. We're just going to trim it off like a little haircut. The vent is where they lay eggs and where they poop from. So, lots of things coming out of there. Chickens don't actually pee. The white coating on their poop is basically their pee. And this is not hurting her. She's just a little concerned about my location. But it's not hurting her. So I'm not anywhere near her skin. Just trimming off some of the nastier stuff. Now, if I had had another pair of scissors, it may have worked better than this, but the only other pair of scissors that I have is my sewing scissors, and if you sew, you know I'm not using that. You doing okay, little girl? Let's get some of this off. It's actually pretty docile chicken as far as all this goes and she always comes to say hi especially to my husband she likes him so that's gotten him more into um, chicken care and stuff I'm not gonna worry too much about some of this because I just you okay you need it you need me to adjust you hold on it's okay girl I know. It's okay. All right. So, as you can see, Vent is looking much cleaner. Um, she's just a very fluffy butt. So, that'll help take care of a lot of it. Honestly, for while we're here, I'm going to check to make sure that there's no bleeding or infestations of anything. But there really does not appear to be. If it was summer, I would be more concerned. Because flies can get in. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay. Flies can get in and um, lay eggs. And then you can get maggots in your chickens. It's okay, girl. I know. That was concerning, wasn't it? That was concerning. <clears throat> <laughs> she's a little bit worried she's not used to being handled quite as much she likes being petted though no she baby oh. <laughs> it's 
So what do you think? Was it just muddy this year? Well, most of that looked like mud. So, but while you're here, you can kind of check on the chicken for any other um, issues that they may have. You can check their feet. Okay. Oh, thanks for not getting me with that. You can check their feet to make sure that they don't have infections. And I already checked her, so she's good. You can check her crop. The crop is where the chicken stores their feed. Make sure that it's healthy. Yeah. You're a good girl. You want some feed? No? You're kind of mad at me right now. You want to go back in with the girls? Yeah? Okay. Say goodbye to everybody out there. All right. All right, so that's how you uh, take care of chickens, and yeah, definitely going to be washing this afterward because uh, that's a lot of nasty. Aren't you proud of me for not puking? Yay, homesteading.